What's going on everyone? We are in Las Vegas. This is Caesars Palace here in the Gigabyte Suite. It's pretty large. They have a lot of stuff to show off as usual. The probably most prominent thing I want to talk about in this video is the new X470 motherboard. That's right, X470. They can't say it, but I can. Uh, this board is built with overclocking in mind. We're going to get down and dirty with this thing and then eventually we'll benchmark with it. So I'm going to need the card for this next one here. Pretty interesting. gv n 1080 IXEV-8GD. So this is basically a full-on desktop grade GTX 1080 in a box. And they've actually used some uh, custom boards in here to get it to fit into this form factor because it is fairly small. It's one of the smallest I've ever seen. Uh, dedicated power, of course. Uh, you'd plug this in like you would anything else, like a TV or a, a monitor or a computer. And then you've got four USB ports down here and a single USB Thunderbolt 3 port. This is what you use to connect this box to your laptop so that your, I don't know, Ultrabook, like maybe your XPS 13 or your MacBook 13 inch even, this has been proven to work with Macs, it's a little finicky still, but they're working on it. Uh, you could connect this to that and get full on desktop grade graphics in those Ultrabooks. Really, really looking forward to getting my hands on this thing right here. So this is our motherboard aisle. Now most of these you've already seen, not too many exciting boards that are new uh, being released other than the one that you saw in the beginning of this video. Uh, but one that I want to highlight because it looks so good that I want to get my hands on. I, I really can't find too many uses for X299 boards, but one that looks good like this, the X299 Designair. I think it's Designair. I'm going to call it that from now on. I said Designair uh, in my previous Designair review. Oh. Designer, dang it. Uh, this is a silver theme board as usual and it's got all the nooks and crannies. I'm going to give you some sweet B-roll to look at right now. Basically, it's another X299 board. Uh, for those who are uh, Intel savvy, you know what you can get with the X299 platform. Uh, but you get at least some pretty sweet aesthetics when it comes to the Designair. All right, here's something that we want to try to emulate in the studio. Basically, this is like a ripped out LCD screen. They stick it against a, a tempered glass panel like this. Uh, and you just connect it like you would a typical monitor via HDMI or what have you, uh, and you can run display effects like this in front of your PC. You could add, you could, there's several uh, modifications like this you can do online, but this one's a really cool implementation here uh, with very beautiful white accents. We don't know how I feel about the color white. Uh, we have the GTX 1080 Ti from Gigabyte stuck in here, an i7 8700K and 16 gigs of G-Skill Trident Z DDR4. I really like this idea. I think our next big build, apart from the one I'm working on currently, will feature something like this. And we've got another custom cooled PC here from Envious Mods. These guys always do great work. We've got dual GTX 1070s, not custom cooled. We have some pretty sweet Synapse backplates on here that I want to get my hands on. It makes this card look much, uh, much better than it already does. I love the red fluid. We got uh, custom cooled RAM, which is totally unnecessary, but it looks really cool. So. Uh, I'm actually glad they went with that. And then we've got this like super sweet T-virus looking reservoir in here with it not topped off, which I actually prefer because you can see the fluid churning inside. This is a really cool build, a really nice modded build. Not just custom, but fully modded. Yeah, Will can't drive very well, so. Like, he, he doesn't have his license. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're off to a great oh, start. Yes. <laughs> There's a fire alarm going off right now. Will, set the fire alarm off. Oh, this is this is great. Yeah, you're. <laughs> he's pushing the clutch, thinking it's the brake. Well, are you riding the brake with your left foot? No, no, it's not touching it. It's right. Yeah, but still. <laughs> I don't know. All right, here we go. Ready? <laughs> Will, Will, use the brake. Oh, use the brake. Okay. Hey, uh, did did he do well? Yeah, I, actually, he. They finished the finish the game. Hey, you finished? You actually so finished the race. Not, not finish so many first. Games. You finished oh, no, the race. No, 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 no. Oh, you didn't finish first. <laughs> but progress. I saw some people even it, it's it's very hard for them to to drive through the through the corner. Oh, they'll, yeah, yeah. they'll keep spinning. Like three or like what number did you uh, come? I believe it's five. Oh, fifth. Five. five. Oh. Because you, actually you, you were in the four. Oh, the, then I let the guy pass that, me. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> I was fourth. All right, take that, Taiwan. He didn't come dead last. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> we were going to plan an, an outro here, but uh, fire alarm's gone pretty crazy. I don't know if you guys you can probably hear it. Anyway, uh, we are going to end this sweet tour by showing you kind of like a, a we're going to pan around here. If Lisa will bring the camera around. Uh, start from the left. They have a golf simulator actually way over to the left side here. I'm not going to attempt to do that because I'm not very good at golf. 
Will, Will, you should totally do that. Go play the, go play the golf simulator. Okay. And that's how we're going to end the video. We appreciate Gigabyte for sending us out to CES 2018 here in Vegas. We appreciate the fire alarm for making our, our, our recording just a major pain. I thought in, we were going to play golf. Post. Yeah, we're going to play golf. So. Let's go play golf. Let's go play golf.